So I've added another uh, couple of connected components here. Uh, I've got a home component and a people component, and they're really, in essence, almost doing the same thing here. Um, again, they're connected. So here's my unconnected component. I end up connecting it, and when I connect it, it'll end up getting past the state from my Redux store, and my connected component is also sub subscribing to changes. So I ended up just putting in a very simple method called add random person. And the idea here is that you're gonna end up updating your store. Again, if we were going to the database, we would have an await up here, but eventually we're gonna dispatch. And if we see this method add person, it's gonna take whatever the state is of the people reducer, it's gonna end up adding another person. So here we have our reducer, which ends up making up our store. Here we have what would be considered an action creator. And the issue that we're going to end up running into is that when I end up going to my app, so make this a little bit bigger here. Uh, if I'm over here, things will seem okay. I'm adding people. But when I go to the people page and I do this, I'll start getting error messages because I'm still subscribing to a component that no longer is part of the DOM. And this is really what this warning is telling me. And if we want to make this go away, we could do it pretty easily because subscribe gives us back an unsubscribe method. And what we could do when the component will unmount, what we're going to do is we're going to end up calling this unsubscribe. And when we end up doing that, we'll see that we're no longer going to see that message here. We could go over to home, we could add people, and that message ends up going away. And there's any number of things we could also do to maybe uh, clean this up, just as a quick aside. We have a lot of these sort of magic strings floating around. We could start to think about setting these up as constants. Again, in a, when we end up using uh, Babel, uh, excuse me, Babel and, I should say Babel and Webpack, uh, we'll be separating these files out. But here, instead of having this sort of magical string, we could set it up as a constant and do this. And this will end up working the same way. We'll just refresh this and make sure. So we could add people from either, either tab. So right now we have a connected component. Let's just do one other thing, because there is one other issue we're going to run into here. If I wanted to, let's say, get my um, location, and I console log for the location, I won't see it. Even though this is, in fact, well, it might appear that this is inside of a route. Uh, I've got a route, I would think I would see my location. I might want to do something with it, but the reason why I'm not seeing it is that not only do I need to splat out the state, but also when someone uses, so don't forget, this is going to be a new component. Here's the class of that component. And when someone uses it, what I'm doing is, again, I'm using closure to sort of wrap around this component, but if someone sends some props in here, I'm going to want to splat them out as well. And once I end up doing that, I'll see my location. So this is a perfectly valid connected component that we can end up uh, you know, helping us maintain our application a little bit better. And again, what's the main motivation here? Instead of actually having to have my state on my top level, I can actually set it up where uh, it's, all my state is in my store. And I don't have to worry about using render to pass properties and methods down. What I end up doing is I just end up relying on my store and methods that end up interacting with my store.